What's going on guys, it's Corey, and in this video I'm just going to show you guys um, basically what techniques and stuff that I use, but I'm just going to walk you through all of that, all my techniques, what I do to my photo to make it pop, stand out, add flares, all in effect, everything. So in this video, I'm just going to show you all of that. So with the photo that we're going to be editing today of mine is this one right here. So this one was shot at uh, Bombo Quarry at New South Wales, Australia, and that's possibly one of my favorite places to shoot. So here's the image here. So the first thing I'm gonna do here is um, straighten it, crop it, um, do the lens corrections, and that's what I'm gonna do now. So first of all, what I usually do is go all the way down here to lens corrections and enable profile corrections and remove chromatic aberration. All right, so what I usually do next is go to the crop tool up here and actually what I'm going to do first because you can't really see the image over on this side here so what I'm going to do is open up the shadows and then see what crop I can go for. So I'll just open up the shadows, probably bring up the exposure a little bit so I can see and what I'm going to do is crop out this rock here so I don't really like that, it's pretty much too wide so I'm just going to crop that in and looking at the navigator over here to see what it looks like the preview. Um, I quite like that actually and probably um, I think that looks pretty sweet probably bring that in a little bit bring that down a little bit and that should be all sweet alright so what I want to do now is open up the um, shadows to bring out all this detail in here all this detail so what I'm going to do is just Simply just go to shadows, open it up, probably bring out the exposure and add a little bit of contrast, a bit of blacks. Actually, I like bringing out the highlights, so I'm going to bump that up a little bit <clears throat> and bring down the clarity because I really don't like the HDR look that it gives and bring that up. So after I do all that, the basic, pretty much the basic edits, I'm just going to bring that down a little bit because that's a bit too much. All right, so what I'm going to do now is jump into Photoshop and do my techniques, the Orton effect, uh, brighten up the brighten up the water here, and probably do a little bit of vignetting, color correction, and whatnot. So jump into Photoshop. So here we are in Photoshop, and this is what I'm going to do first: is um, du duplicate this um, background layer here. So by doing that, you press com Command or Control, I think it is on Windows, but Command J on Mac, and that will duplicate that. Duplicate, I can't even speak. All right, so you got a second layer there. What you're gonna do is, well, what I'm gonna do is go Image, Adjustments, Brightness, and Contrast. And what I'm gonna do now is look at this water here and then just brighten it up, play around with the color and whatnot. And what I gotta remember is there's water there, so. Bring out the brightness, contrast it a bit, brightness a bit more. And all I'm doing now is just looking at the water to brighten that up. I'm not worrying about the sky, how it's heaps blown out. All right, so next what I'm gonna do is press Alt, and I don't know what it is on Windows, but Alt on Mac, and press um, the layer mask here, and that will hide that layer. And what you wanna do is make sure these are 100. If you're on a black layer mask, you want to make sure you're brushing with a white brush so you can reveal what's under the black layer mask if that makes any sense. Uh, hardness zero and size really doesn't matter, you're shifting around with that anyways. Alright, so what you want to do is just paint in the, in the water. I'm going to do it rough and then I'll fix it up after I get all the water. Hopefully this recording actually follows through because I've already recorded like five times before this and Photoshop decided to say scratch discs are full so I deleted a ton of stuff off my hard drive so it should be sweet. Alright so I'm just painting where I don't want it to be bright and probably bring down the flow and the opacity just there. I'll just paint where I don't want it to be bright. Zoom in here on the rock. And we'll fix up the noise and sharpen that later. Let's go around the rocks. Zoom out. And what I really don't want it to do is see on these reflection off the, off the rocks. I really want them to be 
sharp and not brightened. I'm just gonna go in there and fix that up. All right, so that looks pretty sweet. That's the water, brightened it up a little bit. That was just a rough little brush over. It wasn't too accurate, but that would do for this, for the, for the video. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is probably shift around the color. So what I'm gonna do is stamp that by pressing shift, shift option and command E and that will create a stamp of all the layers below that. What I want to do now is um, add a color balance to that and then shift around the colors to see what I like. So you go to image, adjustments, color balance. And then I'm just going to play around the slides and see what, see what we come up with. I'm not too, I'm not liking that green, but Actually, I'm quite liking that, actually. That's too greeny. Anyways. Uh, actually, I'm liking that. All right, so what I'm gonna do now, press OK. With that adjust water adjustment layer, just press Alt on the layer mask, brush again, X, make sure you're on white, and then paint in where you want the effect to show. So I want it in the water, so I'm just going to paint over the water. And what I don't like is that green there. So press X, and then that that will go back to the. See here, X. I switch up the colors. That's pretty sweet. That's probably a bit too yellow, so I'm just going to bring the opacity down back to a little bit of purple. That looks pretty sweet. Next is my favorite technique that I use in pretty much nearly all of my photos is called the Orton effect. Press Shift, Alt, Command, E, make a stamp of that and then create an Orton effect. So what an Orton effect is, is it creates like a dreamy, flowy look to, to your image pretty much. And I'll show you guys that in a, as soon as I do it now. So what, what you first want to do is go to Filter, Blur and then whoop, blur, Gaussian blur. And then what you want to do here is make sure you can make out the water, but not make out the water, if that makes any sense. So you want to make out the water, but not make out the water. <laughs> makes no sense at all, but I'll show you in a sec. So you want to see how you can see the, the textures. And I usually just play around with the slider here to see. And around 28, 29, that will do for this photo. And by the way, with your photo, it's gonna be completely different ratios. Um, with the Orton, that's the Orton, the blur. And then what you wanna do now, um, go down to that little circle thing, I don't know what it's called. Go to brightness contrast and then bring up, I usually with the contrast, I usually go around 70. So around 70 and bring up the brightness. And that looks, and then what you want to do is go to the brightness and contrast that you just made, right click and press create clipping mask. And what that's going to do is create that brightness and contrast layout, like adjustment to the, on the blur, the on effect. And what you want to do is go to opacity and bring that down. And as you can see, it brings that dreamy effect. And what I'm doing now is just wanting it in the water. So I'm just looking at the water, not the rocks or anything. And just play around the sliders. That looks pretty sweet. And then press Alt and then mask in the Orton effect. And bring that up. By the way, this is just a rough, um, rough, rough sketch sort of thing. That looks pretty sweet. And as you can see here, you can just see what the Orton effect does. Now what I want to do is add a high pass filter to the water here to bring out some, a bit more detail in the water. I don't want it completely blurred. So stamp it. Um, filter, other, high pass. And the way, what you want to do here is make out the detail in the parts that you want to keep or bring back. 
and <coughs> uh, I think about um, I think about there because I want this bit here to come back come back sharpened. So after you create that, go to the blend mode tab up there, and what I usually do is press overlay. What that's going to do is sharpen the whole image, and I just want it in the water here. Bring back the textures, and maybe a little bit in the rocks here. We'll see. Add a layer mask, brush, X, up, up, and bring back some of that detail. down for the rocks I'll probably do that on the reflection rocks there that looks pretty sweet and as you can see here it brought back the um bit a little bit of the detail but in a little bit here. Alright, so that looks pretty sweet. I'm happy with that. And then what I'm going to do next is create an awning effect on the sky. So I'm going to do the exact same thing. Stamp it, blur it, brightness contrast it with the sky. But probably with the awning effect on the sky, with the blur, I'm just going to make it a little bit more blurred to make it a little bit more dreamier. So what I'm going to do, first of all, stamp it. Uh, call this Orton Sky. Filter and then blur, Gaussian blur, and a little bit more blurred this time. Probably not that much. So you can make out the details, sort of thing there. Uh, next of all, go to the brush contrast, contrast it. Probably bring this one up a little bit more, a little bit more brightness than usual. Oh, a little bit more down, that's a bit blown out. Create a clipping mask, and then bring the opacity down. Alright, I'm quite happy with that. As you can see on the sky, just around this area, the effect that it has. Uh, add a layer mask, and then just, I want that to the sky. Oh yeah, by, by the way guys, if, you, if you're ever doing this effect, make sure you're on um, zero hardness. Just makes it easier to work with and you're not working with a hard edge brush. And then just go over the sky. That looks pretty sweet. As you can see, it takes out the detail, which I quite like. And I want to see if that will look, if that one effect with the sky will look any decent with the rocks down here. So I'll just have a look, disable. And we could probably add a little bit of softness in there. Uh, probably not that much. Bring down the opacity and flow. Probably just paint in blotches. To where I like it. Alright, so this is what the image looks before we jumped in the Photoshop and then after. So we brightened up the sky sort of thing, we added, added an Orton effect and same with the water. So what I'm going to do now is press file, close, save, that should save, hopefully, there we go, jump into Lightroom and there's the um, Photoshop image transferred to Lightroom. So what I'm going to do next is go to, I'll probably just add a little bit of more warmth to it and like like that probably bring down the vibrance a little bit it's a bit too over the top that's too less so you usually just play around with the slides to see what you like but um i'm quite quite happy with that
Alright, so I hope you guys did enjoy this little video of me showing you the techniques and the um, flow that are pretty much going in all my photos. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys did learn something new and you can interpret these into your own photos sort of thing. So yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy. Um, leave a like, um, comment if you want more uh, videos like this. And yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy. Peace.